Let's open up the AWS console and open up IoT Core Services. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to create policies and we'll go ahead and create an AWS IoT policy. I'm going to give it the name my underscore IoT underscore policy and we need to provide the policy effects. So we're going to select four policy actions and give the effect of allow. So IoT connect, IoT publish, IoT receive and IoT subscribe. These are the four policy actions. From a policy resource perspective, we're going to provide this input as star which means that all resources ideally this should just be the IoT endpoint which you will be using and we can look at the JSON looks good we will go ahead and create this and if I open up the policy I can see the policy ARN I can see the policy effect the policy actions and the versions next step for us is to create the things so we'll go ahead and create one thing so click on the create things button create a single thing and we'll give it the name my underscore thing one we will not select any shadow click on next we will download the auto generated certificates and the policy that we earlier created needs to be attached to this one so we'll attach that and click on create thing at this screen you will now see the option to download the certificates and keys so we'll go ahead and download this remember that some of these files can only be downloaded one time all of these files will get downloaded to your downloads folder I'm going to go ahead and zip these files makes it easier for me to copy the files via SCP to the instance that we will create. We can see the certificates, they all begin with 43D9, and the certificate status is active. Let's open up the EC2 console to go ahead and create the Ubuntu server which will act as our IoT device. I'm going to go ahead and launch the instance. You can give it any name. I've given it the name of IoT underscore thing. For the OS, I am selecting Ubuntu over here and I'll be going ahead with Ubuntu Server 20. The T2 instance, T2 micro instance type is more than adequate. I already have a key pair, so I'm going to go ahead and select my key pair, or you can create your own key pair. And then for the security group, I'm going to go ahead and select an existing security group which has SSH traffic allowed from anywhere. You have the option of creating a separate security group also if required all the other details are good so we'll go ahead and click on launch instance and let's look at the instance getting launched we can see that the instance is up and running and we'll copy and keep the public IP address ready so I've gone ahead and connected to the instance as well as copied the IOT keys over to this instance the first step is we'll check if we have got git installed or not and I can see that git is already installed we can also check if python version 3 is installed or not and you can see that python is also installed the next step for us is to update the operating system
and once the update is completed we'll go ahead and install python pip using the command sudo apt install python 3 dash pip okay pip is now installed and my file is also available over here let's check the pip version that's a confirmation that pip is installed and now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and install the aws iot sdk that was fast so we also need to download or clone this sample application and when you run the ls command you can see that it's already cloned to our instance now that the cloning is completed we'll create a certs folder and we will move our zip file to the certs folder To install the unzip command, we can run sudo apt install unzip and that should install unzip for us. And now we can use the unzip command to unzip the zip file containing all the certificates. Alright, so we can see the certificates are here with us. What we are going to do is that we are going to truncate these file names, it, they are like huge file names. So we are going to truncate them and the very first file we will truncate is the certificate.pem.cit which is actually our device certificate. So we will truncate it or we will rename it to device.pem.crt. The next file that we will work on is the private.pem.key. The next file is the root certificate. We'll make it a little bit compatible with the command that we're going to run. So we'll rename it to amazon root ca onepem Okay, so we can see that the files are here with us and having the proper naming convention. We'll open up Notepad so that we are able to copy a few bits of information as well as modify the command that we will run first and foremost is we need the iot endpoint for the iot endpoint we'll come back to the aws console into the iot core service Within the IoT core service, if you go to settings, you will see the IoT endpoint over here. So we'll copy this into the notepad. And now let's go ahead and copy the command also that we will be executing. So in this command, we need to change the your dash IoT dash endpoint with the actual endpoint so we'll go ahead and do that now you can also see the file naming convention for the certificates is consistent with the rename of the files that we have done
so we'll go ahead and execute this command in the ubuntu instance okay so to execute this command we need to get into the folder which contains the application so that's the samples folder within this folder we'll take up this command copy this command and we are ready to execute this command So it has connected to our IoT endpoint, it has subscribed to the topic test slash topic and is sending these or publishing these messages to the topic. So we can see hello world all the way, 10 hello world messages are sent. Okay, let's use the MQTT test client. And here we'll subscribe to the topic that we created test dash topic. And when you click on the subscribe button, you should be able to see all the messages that are being sent to this topic. We'll come back to our instance and run that command again. But this time, what we're going to do is that we are going to provide it the name of the topic. And it will go ahead and send those 10 messages and we can see the messages are getting reflected here and that's how an IoT device will connect so what we can do is that we can even go ahead and publish to this topic from the console itself so if I click on the publish button with the default message you can see that the message is already visible So in the real world this kind the message will be a parameter for example the temperature reading so we'll modify the JSON so that you can see now that the temperature 42 has been published now that we have successfully connected everything uh, we can go ahead and delete everything so let's go ahead and do that very first thing we'll do is that we will clear our subscriptions The next thing after that is to go to things and delete the thing that we have created. Now that the thing is deleted, we can go ahead and delete the policy that we had created. And after the policy, we can go ahead and delete the certificate. For that, first and foremost, we have to deactivate the certificate. And then we can go ahead and delete the certificate. Fantastic. So the last piece of infrastructure that we need to delete is the Ubuntu instance that we created. So we'll come to the EC2 console, select the instance and then we can go ahead and terminate the instance. For more details check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success certified.